Hi, this is Mike Armstrong, your Washington State Representative over in Olympia on the House floor. Session is up and running now, and we are really uh, hit the road running hard. Uh, I've introduced a couple of bills this year that I think you might be interested in, so I want to spend a little bit of time talking about some of them and to tell you where they're at in the process. One of the big things I heard loud and clear this last year was about property tax and the cost of property tax on homeowners in Chelan and Douglas and Okanagan and Grant counties that I represent. So I introduced a bill this year that would over a six year period back out the 24% of your property tax that you pay that goes to the state general operating fund, it would eliminate that 24%, saving you 24% of your property tax bill. Uh, now that's going to be a tough sell in a time like this, but I think that since we're only taking 4% per year for six years, I think it's going to work out fairly well. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I haven't had a hearing in committee yet, but I look forward to having a hearing in committee. <laughs> this guy's great. This guy's yeah, great. Right uh, <laughs> great. great right here. These are a couple of my Democrat friends, by the way. Uh, and I'm not even going to introduce them because I don't want them to get any airtime in my <laughs> district. So good to see you guys. Thank the you. Best representative. Thank you. Thank you. A couple of good, good friends that I serve with. Man, that was a surprise. Um, but anyway, as we look forward, a couple other bills that we're working on. Uh, I have a bill that uh, is going to get a hearing soon on student books in colleges. Currently, colleges don't put out the list of books uh, early enough for students to go online and buy books. So my bill would require them to put out that list of books that are going to be required for college at least 30 days prior to the quarter starting. So that would save students the, uh, the cost of having to go to uh, the, the school bookstore and buying them there, allowing them the availability of buying them online and saving a little bit of money. Another bill that uh, has exact out of committee, in other words, has been voted out of committee and is headed to the House floor, is a bill that is for public safety, allowing uh, public safety radios like ambulance and fire trucks to utilize a couple of the TV satellite or TV uh, reflector sites up on the mountaintops. This bill was written particularly with the Methow Valley in mind as they have uh, that situation going on up there and want to allow emergency radios in their uh, remote uh, satellite site. So it'll be kind of fun to see how that bill goes. Hopefully we get some traction on that. Another little bill that I've been working on uh, this year that's gotten quite a bit of publicity and uh, just got voted out of committee yesterday is a bill naming applets and cutlets, the state candy. Now I did this bill for a couple of reasons this year and I'm tickled by the way to have it voted out of committee and on its way to the House floor. But I did this for a couple of reasons. We have a tough budget cycle this year and I needed to have something in Olympia that could bring people together and we've had a lot of fun with this bill and it's just a great conversation piece and a great icebreaker for the session. A lot of people are having a good time with it. Had some great testimony from some, from some students in Chehalis that asked me to run the bill. And yes, Chehalis is not in my district. It's over here in the I-5 corridor. But they uh, love Applets and Collets and wanted that bill to, to go through. So I agreed to sponsor it. Got a hearing in committee and it got voted out of committee. So it's on its way to the House floor. Hopefully we hear it out there. Well, this is Mike Armstrong, your state representative from the 12th Legislative District. If there's anything I can ever do for you, feel free to contact my office. I'm proud to represent you in Olympia. Thank you.